Good morning, stock traders, and welcome back to Stock Traders Talk Radio. I'm your host, Stock Sumo, and thanks for joining us on this freaky, 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 Friday, August 3rd. You know what time it is, folks. It's time to top off your cup of coffee with Stock Traders Talk as we look through the markets. So open up your charts, turn on your scanners, and fire up those trading accounts. Join us on this morning's program is Haas. What's up, dog? Yo, yo, Stock Sumo. What's going on this morning, man? I heard you went to a, uh, a fun concert last night. Oh, yeah. A lot of fun last night at C-Mac out in the Finger Lakes. Nice. Beautiful, beautiful night here. It was really hot. Good day yesterday. Looks like it's going to be another, another nice day today. I'm going to have to get out there and swing the old sticks. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, yeah. Also on this morning's program, we have Sifakia. Whoa, that's a full rainbow. All the way. Yeah, where's he at? Double I know rainbow. he wanted to come on oh this way. Don't be it's shy. A double Don't be rainbow bashful, all bro. The way. Come on. Whoa, that's so intense. I don't know what it is that she's already in. Uh, all right, maybe he's having some other issues, but we'll 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 hear from him later on in the show. I'm I'm almost certain of it. I'm ready to wrap up another good week. Oh my God! Oh my God. Uh, been fun with you, Hoss. I'm sure we got some more exciting stuff to talk about today. Fridays have been fun. It's been a great summer. Uh, Apple is wrapping up here this morning. That's definitely good. So it should be an interesting day all around. We got one that uh, we brought up yesterday. Oh God, we saw the big uh, It's starting to even look like a tank. triple rainbow. Uh, night capital. Oh, my God. You went over the it's news. full on. Double rainbow. Yeah, definitely. That one's uh, going to be on everyone's watch list this morning, I think. I'm actually searching for the article. Double rainbow. Double <laughs> rainbow. Are you playing that right now? Yeah, I played it right over you guys. It was awesome. <laughs> oh God, dude! <laughs> you got a lot. Oh man, you, you guys' <laughs> memory is about as long as um my niece's, which is one years old, since we had that plan. But um, hey, who's keeping track? Back to you, Haas. <laughs> well, thanks for playing that, Siffy. Next time, uh, we'll have to shut the hell up. It must have been uh, twice as entertaining with our dumb mouths talking over that crap. Uh, laughed so hard about that last night, I couldn't stop watching it. I watched it about five times, rolling on my chair. Took me like two hours to fall asleep, too. Anyways, let's get back to this uh, Night Trading Group Incorporated, ticker KCG, folks. Uh, super hot one. We did mention the news yesterday. Uh, this one just tanked. They lost $440 million because of some idiot and some new software system. And, you know, us in the penny world, we're just kind of like, yeah, they deserve it. But, frankly, they're still worth about two to two and a half times more than they're trading at right now. Uh, there's a nice little article out. I haven't pulled it up on my actual player yet. And I can't find it on my player. So, I'll just talk about it. And I want to read uh, the last paragraphs here. Because uh, financial analysts doing a little bit of math here. Uh, a little math here would be very helpful. Liquidate everything that Night Capital has and take the $440 million hit they just took, and you're still left with $630 million. And, of course, everybody on Wall Street uh, knows what Knight is holding and will make sure they don't get current market value. You know, he's talking about a potential buyout or something there. There was an article out yesterday that they were uh, thinking about, you know, uh, taking some offers, some tender offers. Uh, so let's give the $630 million bucks a 20% haircut, and you're left with about $504 million with their just under $90 million share count. Translates to about $5.62 per share. All right. So uh, this guy's definitely a uh, buyer of the stock when the rest of Wall Street is uh, running away. 
Uh, you know, it's the first day after some major, major negative news. Uh, we tend to see the overreaction in some of these stocks going to have some major bounces. So we'll see how this one plays out today. It looks like it's gapping up already, but uh, let's definitely take a look at that chart there. You got that for us, Sumo? Let's go to the charts. All right. We're, uh, it's hitting the scanner first off. Just want to mention that. Let's go over to the chart. You can see a big gap down. Yesterday, big down day. Uh, closed at like the bottom third of where it traded, bottom fourth. Uh, went down to like what, low uh, twos, 220 ish? Yeah, I'm not sure. Let's see if I can find the exact low of the day here. It looks like the day. 227. Is... Yeah, there you go. You got the RSI that's way oversold. Same with the PPO and slow still. All these lines are. Down here, far down, down. So, looks like it's going to be a dead cat bouncer. All right, cool, man. Uh, let's talk next about a stock that we actually flushed yesterday. And we pretty much, well, we didn't call the uh, what actually happened to a T, but uh, there's. <laughs> This is our new segment, Pile of Shit Flushers. We like to start off with every morning because we like to make fun of people who do dumb things. A um, bunch of promo groups went out on this stock two days ago on some sort of like Chinese approval for clinical trials with their drug. Uh, the stock ran 100%. And if you've been around this stock long enough, you know that it's a complete pile, pile of crap. Dilutive, reverse splits up the ass. Uh, basically a complete dog. And, you know, sometimes it makes some good runs, but you just got to get out quick. And this one is ticker GNTA, Genta Incorporated. And I'm not going to go to the actual article, the links here uh, in the iHub stickies if you want to go look at it. But lo and behold, yesterday, shortly after our show, it may have possibly been because we flushed it twice. That's, that's a slight possibility. Uh, just sold off all day yesterday, and they filed for Chapter 7 bankruptcy mid-morning yesterday. Genta Incorporated. Uh, assets will be liquidated. Company officers are terminated. Directors will resign. And we all know that their asset base is not a whole lot, and they have tons of debt on the books because they're a small biofarm company trading in the trips, and all they've done is just been you know, raising money and lining their pockets and spending money on clinical trials. But uh, not exactly sure what's going to happen with their drug, Tessitexel. Uh, phase three clinical trials, I believe, for different types of cancer treatments. So we'll see what happens there. But uh, company, Chapter 7, you guys are screwed. I feel bad for anyone in the stock right now. You got any comments on that one, Stock Sumo? No. Nope. Nothing on that tip. That's not really a tip. That's just making fun of a bad stock. Because <laughs> it's kind of fun to do. All right, let's talk about one that started beasting over the last couple of days here. Uh, I think you brought this one up yesterday, Sumo. Uh, we were looking at level two screen. KMA Global Solutions International. KMOG. Uh, one of our old school favorite CEO interviews. But after the CEO interview, there's actually lots of negative hype around the stock. Uh, different types of things and rumors spreading around. But this one has just been beast in the last couple of days. And I want you to pull up a chart on this one because I'm going to want to take a look at that. Uh, this one looks like it's got a little room, my friend. But DD Amanda first, KMAG. Uh, we see the stock kind of quieted down a little bit relatively to what it was trading a while ago. Uh, but just the last two trading days, 200000 bucks on uh, Wednesday and 400000 yesterday on Thursday and going up from 0043 close on Tuesday to a 0078 close yesterday and it looks like it's uh, about to break out on the chart here it's forming a nice little uh, bull pattern that's about the only pattern I know uh, even if it doesn't look like a bull I just call it a bull pattern but uh, why don't we take a look at that chart sumo 
Yeah, chart is looking good, and uh, we did catch this one a couple days ago. I noticed it was having a couple of green days, and it was trying to push past the 50 and 20 day moving average. And then once she broke above that right here, um, she came push push towards that 200 day moving average at 0053, closed there the day before yesterday, and then yesterday had a low of day of 0054, so it gapped up past that 200-day moving average and even punched past the 100-day. So she's well above all the moving averages. And look what happened last time it got above the moving averages back here. And again, we did that spotlight like way, uh, what was it, like February or uh, something when we did the spotlight. And, and it ended up running uh, significantly. You've seen the big push all the way to 023 and had that consolidation lost the support below these moving averages but now it's back above it and huge volume flowing through the stock again you can see the volume bars, bars picking up rsi up in the power zone we love it when the rsi is in the power zone always tend to see a breakout in those scenarios got the ppo starting to diverge these lines are splitting apart as the blue bars on the histogram stack up to the positive side and notice all these indicators are above the 50 MA overlay, same with the slow stow, and those lines are getting up in the power zone. So all these indicators looking revved up, primed up, and this stock is popping wheelies. Popping wheelies? I like that little addition. Uh, all right, let's, uh, you got any tickers you want to talk about, or you want me to roll in some other stuff? Go for it, Haas. All right, I got a few we can uh, talk about. One stock that I don't particularly love just because of their history as far as dilution and promotion goes, but uh, this one has had some nice little runs in the past, so I want to keep an eye on it whenever they're starting to put out some news. RTG Ventures Corporation, uh, ticker RTGV. Uh, they put out an operational update post-market yesterday. Uh, that's for your RTGV. Uh, they put out a uh, Reggie James update, SVB marketing communication uh, said you're following the recent acquisition of brand and they put out a Reggie Rayon SVB marketing communication said you're following the recent your operable skills, new partnerships, and discussions with leading brands. Together, we are building an array of platforms as outlined in our letter to shareholders released in late June 2012. Uh, James went on to say, due to the confidential, confidential nature of the negotiations, we are unable to share specific information openly without the threat that it may commercially damage to potential be damaging to potential partners, as stated in mutual non-disclosure agreements. Uh, let's see here. Do they have anything good to uh, Well, you know, operational update. You can go read the rest of that. But... Uh, just keeping their shareholders in the loop, letting them know that they're not talking because uh, they got some confidential stuff going on. But I'm sure well, they'll be releasing more news related to what they got going on soon here. But just want to keep an eye on what, as they start putting on news here. This one tends to uh, run, you know, one or two bags every once in a while. Triple zero one complete lotto stock. Egg P Fire Creek ticker E F I R. Put out some news this morning, actually. <clears throat> Mondial Ventures Incorporated, that is the ticker MNVN, is pleased to announce the acquisition of a working interest for the oil producing property JB Tub Leasehold Estate, a Moco Crower Field North 40. I don't know why it has to be so complicated to name oil fields, but we'll just go with it. Uh, with additional related equipment from Egg Peak Fire Creek Incorporated. Uh, so, Egg Peak Fire Creek looks like they're providing equipment to Mondial Ventures Incorporated. Stock we were talking about the other day much higher prices. I think this company may be diluting a little bit. It's not the five million float that people think it is. I got uh, a good one. I got a good one when you're done with that off the scanner. Good man. All right, let's go to this news quick. Interline Resources Corporation announces a 90-day exclusive listing agreement for the sale of its 28-mile natural gas pipeline. 
Uh, the listing company will assist the company in identifying prospective purchasers and analyzing, structuring, negotiating, and effecting proposed transactions for the sale of the pipeline. Yeah, we already know that. You've been talking about it for three months. You don't need to put out another teaser PR. Get a clue. All right, move on. Go. Okay, let's take a look at the scanner. And this one caught my attention because I pulled up a fast chart on it. A C L S. I want you to pull up a chart on this one. And you can see what I'm talking about here. Let's pull, go back a few little while. Look at that. Nice bottom bouncer. It's gapping up off of this support huh. down here. Looks like it's uh, gapping up into the 90 cent range. And it's, like, it's com coming off a nice bottom. Yeah, it's yeah. on some decent volume, actually. Is there any news out on ACLS? Looks like they put out an AK yesterday post market. Oh, they announced uh, second quarter financials last night, it looks like. Actually, why don't we check the financial statement, not the AK about it. See if I can find anything in there. Uh, are you actually going to give me the financial report or are you just going to be a douche? Not you, Sumo. I'm talking to my computer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we got 87,625 shares trading pre-market on 67 trades. It's up 19.5%. Last traded at 93 and a quarter cents. 0.9325. That's A-C-L-S. So definitely want to keep this one on watch. It looks like the 20-day moving average is at 92 cents, and then the next moving average is going to be the 50-day at a buck seven. So we're already gapping up past that 20-day at 92. Uh, I'd like to see if it can run up to that dollar seven mark and get through the resistance there. If it can, then the next key resistance is going to be the 100-day at a buck 26. Yeah, for whatever reason, it's uh, not pulling up, but I'm assuming the results were pretty good. All right, let's see what else we got on the old list. Probably not a whole lot. Let's pull up ACTC. I know me and Sophie were looking at this chart a little while ago, too, about a week or two ago. And this one keeps holding that eight cent area and bumping up to this nine, and I just have a feeling it's gonna bust out about ten and make a little run here pretty soon. And post market yesterday, uh, we got some insiders taking control of some pretty significant amount of stock around the mid eights here. Uh, direct acquisition of stock, so definitely something to keep an eye on. If I know one thing about this company uh, in its history, is when the uh, Insiders and CEOs start converging, converting shares. They like to run their stock a little bit. Uh, that's when you see those runs to about 20 cents with this stock. So it's one to keep your eye on. How does that chart look? Okay, hold on. Which one was that again? Uh, ACTC. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, that's a good looking chart right there, if I should say so myself. You got the golden cross happening here. The 20 day has recently passed through the 50 and 100 day moving averages. And notice what's happened after that. The stock is just beast moded, running from 8 cent range up to uh, 9.5. Doesn't, doesn't sound like a lot, but. When you're when you you know when you're talking about an eight cent stock for you know a penny and a half move is still uh, pretty pretty good uh, pretty good gains. Looks like that's going to be a key resistance here. This nine and a half cents, mm -hmm. and that's where the two hundred day moving average is. So if it can break above that, that would be huge. I like how the RSI is pointing north wanting to go up in the power zone 
And same with the PPO, that's up here in the power zone. Slow Stow is bouncing off the 50 MA overlay, looking like it wants to go north, getting a crossover on that, so that looks good. So yeah, this, this chart's a great looking chart, ACTC. Cool. Let's go over some news from yesterday, actually. There wasn't a whole lot of news out this morning. It's Friday morning, pretty boring out there. But uh, auction is international. Ticker AUCI put out news related to a second potential acquisition yesterday. Uh, their first acquisition was the Amero International. Uh, very significant acquisition for the company. I think Amero International already has about $2 million uh, dollars in revenues, if not more at this point, and we should be hearing some updates on that as well in the near future, but uh, this is a completely separate acquisition Auctions International is looking at. Uh, let's just go over this release here. Auctions International Incorporated would like to announce that the company has entered into formal discussions with a Western Canadian recycling firm regarding a potential merger acquisition. The target company is a specialist in recovering ferrous and non-ferrous metals and would benefit from auctions experience in establishing markets in the Eastern Pacific Rim region, specifically China. Uh, so it looks like auctions have some nice relationships over in that China area uh, and in the Hong Kong and Pacific Rim countries. So uh, very interesting. Uh, this one's a uh, pretty thin stock as far as the float goes, and it can move pretty quick when I sort of dollar line comes into it. So definitely want to keep an eye on in this double zero one area. <clears throat> All right, let's see here. Another one we've been talking about quite a while. Uh, did a little mini, mini, mini spot on it yesterday. They put out a nice little letter to shareholders at about 1.50 p.m. Eastern time yesterday, it looks like. And it closed in the green once again yesterday. This one's just been beast in the dollar volumes increasing on a daily basis. Uh, ESP Resources, oil and gas services company, today issued a letter to shareholders from the company's president, David Dugas, providing a recap on the growth in the first half of 2012, as well as a discussion on the business and plans for expansion in 2012 and beyond. Uh, I'm not going to read over this entire uh, update to the shareholders, but definitely worth a good a good read. Uh, yeah. Some real good information in it and kind of sets the stage for the company and what they have going on. It looks like they got some big stuff cooking. Why well, don't we take a look at the volume scanner, Stock Sumo? KCG just cracked through three bucks. Three hundred eight. Three hundred. 306 right now. It's up 18% here pre market. MTG, Michael Tango George, is up 6.8%. Not sure what these guys do. 93 by 94. ACLS is up to 95 cents now. Uh, up another couple pennies since we've been watching it. I like. I like this ACLS. Apple. Oh, got to talk about Apple. It's up to 613. You're talking about it. <laughs> 613. 50 is the high of day here this morning. I'm seeing three bidders at 613.32 and two offers at 613.50 right now. I think they want to take this thing to 615 today, it looks like. Right before the close, Siffy and I picked up a couple 615 calls. They were going at 72 cents into the close. So it'll be interesting to see what they're worth at the open. If this thing can open around 615, that'd be nice. If you're in the 610 calls, which closed at $2.00, Yesterday, they'd, you'd be up uh, nicely now. They'd, they'd probably be going at five, six bucks at the open because they're going to be three, four dollars in the money if Apple opens at 613 or 614. 
this thing gapped up the other day. We saw it, and I was in some uh, $600 calls, and I sold them at 15 bucks. Uh, that was when I was buying T line on the dip. You can go look at one of our post, one of my posts up on our board. I marked it, showed my sell on the top when Apple gapped up to 615. It was nice, man. It's been a good week for these options. These calls have been doing very well. Just got to be on the right side of the fence. Yeah, it's been a it's been a pretty good week for a lot of stuff, and a bad week for a lot of stuff. You know, we've seen some pretty shitty promos out there over the last couple of weeks. Stocks just diluting themselves to nothing. Uh, it's tough to see. KCG three ten pre market up twenty percent. Wonder where they're gonna let this thing bounce to. Wouldn't be surprised to see it go back to four bucks today. Yeah. One uh, press release that just came out that I want to talk about is for uh, DG, DHSM, excuse me, uh, DHS Holding Company. We actually talked about this stock. It took a dip to uh, three or four cents a Friday ago, and <laughs> it's a super thin stock, so it's already up to you know thirty, thirty-five cents. But they just finally put out news related to their gaming license. Uh, there's also lots of rumors floating around about massive, massive shorts on this stock and stuff like that too. So you got that, you got that chatter going on. Charlie Barrett, president of DHS Holding Company proudly announces that DHS Belize Limited, a wholly owned subsidiary of DHS Holding Company, has received its online gaming license. On August 1, 2012, the government of Belize certified that DHS Belize Limited has been approved to operate an online gaming business. Um, so that was uh, one of the major steps for this company to proceed with their business plan. So we'll see how the share price responds today. <laughs> <clears throat> and we're a minute away from the bell. We got Siffy playing some KCG options. Is that what we got going on right now? I'm not sure. I think he's going to play the stock. The stock? I rarely see Siffy play a stock. Oh, I was a little early there with the bell, but hey. I think you're about a, a minute early there. A minute early. We, we could play a double rainbow. We could even play a triple. <laughs> now you're just gonna... Good oh, I think it got stuck for a second there. <laughs> Can people tell we're trying to kill time into the bell? <laughs> Gotta love it, man. Gotta love it. All right. Come on. Hit it. There we go. Now give me a bell. ACTC trying pretty hard out of the gates. 9 1 by 9 2 spread, 70,000 in volume already. There you go, the 9 2 hits. KMAG closed that 0078 yesterday. We were just talking about this chart. 0083 by 0084 spread right now. Uh, gapped to open up at 0084. Like to see a little bit more bid support, but she's uh, she's doing all right. <laughs> Looks like BBDA is going to test those fours in a second. We got about a million shares left on the ask at 0039. 660,000 share bid on 0038. Looks like decent bid support at 0037 right under that. Man, this thing's just strong. Strong. Let's 
see how Genta's trading today. <laughs> I cannot believe people are actually buying this stock right now. Chapter 7 bankruptcy. And we're still seeing a 2 by 3 spread. So the betting market for you. Let's roll up scanner here. What's KCG up to, boss? 333. Yes, sir. What I'm talking about. Man, your PROP is up to three cents. Is that the one you're talking about at a penny? Yeah. I mean, How's that well, thing doing? I, I, I'm, I'm so focused on Apple options right now. I'm in the zone, man. Can't focus on those other pennies <laughs> right now. I just got to focus on Apple. Sorry. <laughs> Why don't you talk to us about it, Sue? Huh? <laughs> I, I, I got I to sell. I'm selling. I'm taking some profits. Those... Uh, 615 calls that closed at 72 cents yesterday hit a high at two bucks. They were as low as a dollar 42 and as high as two bucks. I exited my position at a dollar 75 and a dollar 85. I'm partially out. Yeah, KCG is definitely decent in this morning so far. All right, let's find one. a slow morning. Uh, let's see if we got anything being posted on the board here. Something getting hits. Boring Friday. Let's see what comes to mind. Hmm. Even the beloved ICNB is quiet today so far. giving you much help here. I'm just watching the Apple. That's it's literally not a, anything to talk about right now, Matt. I'm uh, literally searching for anything, but not, not too much coming across the screen right now. Looks like uh, OPXS is getting some action. Let's check that one out. Yeah, I saw that one hitting my scanner as well. OPXS, 745,000 shares in volume. Current spread is 325 by 399. Uh, 
up 300% on the day. I'm not sure exactly what's going on. Probably a promotion. Let's go check if there's news. do not think there is news, but the flow is pretty low. And looks like they have some nice revenues coming in. They're a profitable company. My guess is there's an email I wrote on it. Let's check. Yes, it's on promotion. By promotion groups that I don't particularly like, so <laughs> be careful. Be careful as it goes back down to the tips. Looking for a dip and rip on Gapple. It opened up at 613 or six, hit a high of 614.36. They dipped it to 611.56. It's 612.10 right now. The 610 calls were as low as $3. They're now $330 by $350. Whoa, ACTC just busted the 9-2s with some freaking authority. A 740,000 share bid popped onto it right now uh, through PERT on 9-2. 9-2 by 9-3 right now. Wow. Uh, about 500,000 shares just smacked 925. There's a 700,000 share bid on 92. This one's ready to roll. Ready to roll. 925 by 993 nine spread right now. Got about a million share bid sitting on 92 yet through two market makers. There's a 922 bid and a 925 bid. 9.3 by 9.4 spread, 9.3.5 by 9.4 spread. Mm -hmm. Perfect setup for the form fours filed yesterday. As I said, the CEO likes to run his stock, especially right after he uh, converts some shares. So the chart setup and the recent news related to their stem cell clinical trials, macular degeneration. Might provide a, uh, a nice little run here if they pop out some good news next week. Nine four by nine four five spread. This thing's just getting hammered. Nine four by nine five spread. Apple just went above 613. Those 610 calls went from 330 back over four bucks. Now they're at 410. I picked a couple up at 350. Gonna take some profits here. URHN getting lots of action this morning too. Current spread one by one three now. Uh, this thing's going nuts. Up ninety six point one percent. Nine hundred fifty three thousand shares traded. Last trade at one cents. Got about two hundred fifty thousand on the bid at one cents. Ask just looks super thin. I think this one was getting some attention yesterday too. Let me check the demand real quick. Yeah, it looks like it had about a twenty thousand dollar day, kind of out of nowhere yesterday. Moving up from triple zero seven, hit a high at double zero seven three yesterday, and closed at double zero five one on just twenty thousand dollars in volume. The stock basically has zero dollar volume every day on two thousand twelve so far. So this one's kind of coming out of the woodwork. Let's go check out what's going on because it's getting lots of action again today. I think I saw this one posted on some boards and stuff. There must have been a filing or an update. The 615 calls 
were as low as a dollar. They're back to a dollar sixty nine. The six ten calls that I was talking about bounced off of three bucks. We saw them at three fifty. Now they're up to four seventy. Boom. Apple going back to six fourteen here. Classic dip and rip. Siffy, I know you're standing from the sidelines playing this bad boy and you're proud. Taught me a lot, my man. Aw, look at that. Stock Trader Talk Radio love right there. Nothing like a little bromance. <laughs> Looks like uh, URHN <coughs> is a uh, reinstatement play. So it's a reinstatement yesterday, so that's why it's getting the action. She's a mover, sort of. Double zero eight by double zero nine nine spread right now. Million shares traded today. Look at this. They want to take Apple to a new high of day, possibly here. Just pop back above six fourteen. The high of day is six fourteen thirty six. Let's see if they can take her to six fifteen today. I flipped in and out of those. 610 calls, picked a couple contracts up at 350, sold them at 420. Now they're up to 467. Left a little money on the table, but that's okay. As long as we're making money. The 615 calls are up to a buck 85. Apple Looks like it wants to click new highs here. Those 615 calls could see some in the money action if Apple breaks above 615. Let's go. Got ACT still moving upward, bids moving upward. Still the big bids sitting down in the lower nines. 951 by 96 spread right now, high day 97. Almost 2 million shares traded now. Up 6.6%. 955 by 97 spread now. <clears throat> The bids are build, building on Apple, and it just clicked a new high a day. And I just sold some more of my 615 calls that we bought into the close yesterday at 72 cents. I just clipped them at two bucks. And those 610 calls that were at three. 50 are now up to 550. Apple 61477 is the high of day. We're trading strong. Looks like we're going to pop above 615. She's churning hard here. Classic dip and rip. Off the gap up. Sumo's hey, getting... Go ahead, man. Sumo's getting happy. He's making some profits. That's what I like to see. Just keep it up, man. Okay, Meg. Beasting again early on today. 9.7 million shares traded. Currently up 14.1% last traded. Double zero eight nine. We mentioned the sexy looking chart before the show started this morning. Dollar volume has been massive the last two days. $200,000 day, $400,000 day on very hefty increase in share price and it looks like the run is going to continue into the end of the week. RTGV Few taps. Last tap double zero one seven up forty one point seven percent. Volume's pretty low yet though. Eight hundred thirty thousand shares traded. Uh, spread needs to tighten a little bit. Double zero one three by double zero one seven isn't looking too attractive for most potential buyers. KCG. Jeez. Twenty million shares traded. Last trade three eighteen. 
Congrats to those that bought the fear yesterday. Well, closer to close time, anyways. BBDA still working on this 0038 by 0039 spread. Still got a million shares yet on that 0039. A couple of thousand in bid support on the 0038. This stock just amazes me at the tight spreads that it trades between. Literally hung in that 0027 by 003 spread for <laughs> like over a week. And now it's kind of doing the same thing in this 0037 by 004 area. Seven point six million shares traded so far. All right, let me take a look at the scanner. Now that I'm all out of my Apple options and sold all my calls and took my <laughs> profits, I'm, I can focus on helping you out, bud. Sorry about that, man. It's, uh, I just I, had to. I, I, I never get in between a man and his trade, or a woman and <sighs> trade for that matter. K Meg busting 009. So we got a fat 1.6 million bid on 009. 009 by 0092 spread right now. She's thinning out 11.6 million in volume now. Last trade, double zero nine up 15.4 percent. Oh, nice Momo. The volume's been really picking up the last couple days, and she's just picking up again today. This one has a cult following. ACTC having some trouble with this 9.7 cent area. I have a feeling this 9798 area is going to be a key break to uh, bust over the 10 cent mark. We still see the couple of fat bids sitting down there at 9.2 cents. 2 million shares traded, last traded 955, up 5%, 955 by 965 spread. I'm just calling that we're going to see some big news from ACTC early next week, just because. A couple more taps on BBDA39. If that breaks 004, she might move quick to that 5-6 area. Watching Apple here bounce around off of the 615 area. The 615 calls are what I like. 236 right now by 240. Got a HSTC, HST Global getting some action. 248,000 shares traded. Last traded eight cents, which is up 23.1%. It's like we got some decent bid support in there. 150,000 bid on seven, uh, about 150,000 on eight cents too, and eight one high bid here. Let's see if we got anything going on there. HSTC. <clears throat> Looks like a low floater, sub 10 million float. Doesn't look like they put on any news. Oh, what the hell? There's a DD Amanda chart here through Zardew, which was put out two days ago. Let's see here. Let's see any recent news. I do see a couple of posters that uh, sometimes do some types of promotions and stuff, but we'll see. Looks like it just started trading, actually, for the most part. Let me check our own little DD Amanda. Zero dollar volume up until last week, Friday it looks like. A couple of smaller trading days and then a $290,000 day on Wednesday. And yesterday another 72000 bucks. 
So this one's starting to get some attention. Might be on a little bit of a promotion watch here. Tread cautiously. Nokia is still beasting, bro, up to uh, 3.52%, 235. Yeah, it had a little pullback yesterday, offered a nice dip opportunity. Mm -hmm. After having, you know, nice several days of green in a row. T-Lot is offering up a pullback. It dipped to as low as a dollar five. It's a buck eight by a buck nine right now. Yeah, that's the thing with these uh, bio plays, man. You never know what's going to happen. Usually they run up into that date, but, you know, as we've seen, I don't know if it was a stop loss order rate or what, but that thing just got hammered once it started touching those 170s. BBDA. Broke the 0039. We got 004 on the ask. That's huge. Yeah, this one should start thinning out a little bit as she uh, starts increasing in share price here. Some nice hits on the 004 to coming through as well. I bought the dip on the 615 calls at $2. They're 224 right now. Let's see if Apple could hold above 615 and. Run back to the high day. Looking strong here. Let's go. Double zero fours are going to bust on BBDA here. There they go. 4 1 went through. 4 1 by 4 2 spread. Whee! Couple of shares on the bid at double zero four. Ask thinned out dramatically. Double zero four two. We do have a one point two million share order, but then it jumps to four seven. She's in beast mode. Fifteen million shares traded on the day. I saw KMEG holders. Apparently, there are some very distressed individual traders who didn't like my term cult following for the stock. Uh, my response to that would be deal with it. <laughs> you're just lucky you're a hockey fan there. Double zero four two by double zero four four is up on BBDA. Double zero four mark, obviously a key mental break. We see the ass thinning out big time. Now she's entering what's known as blue sky, folks. Yep. I always love this stock if I do say so myself. <laughs> Nah, this one, I actually do like this stock, and they're actually doing some real things, so it's pretty cool. <laughs> mm -mm. 4 3 by 4 4. Here go the 4 4s, too. <clears throat> Looks like next resistance on the level 2 is going to be 005 ish. Yeah, there's a few market makers up there. Even our uh, beloved knight is sitting up there. 
he doesn't want to get he doesn't want to lose any more money, so he's not going to try to short this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, three point seven million ask on double O four five steps in, but we've seen bigger asks than that get taken out. Seventeen point seven million shares traded. Key break up eighteen point nine percent. All right, let's scroll over to KMEG. 9.4 by 9.5 spread right now, also in beast mode. We looked at that chart. This thing's got some room. 14.9 million shares traded. Last trade, double zero nine four, up 20.5%. All right, the cult is rocking this one. Those Apple 615 calls are at $2.50. Apple's up to 615.70. It's the high of day is 616. So let's see if it can get through here. It looks like it's trying to get through that high of day. 615.90 up on the ask. I'm back in those 615 calls at two bucks, and they're 260 on the ask. I'm going to take a little profit right here at 265. I'm going to sell half, lock in some profits. Let's see if they come up and give it to me. ACTC having lots of trouble with that 9.7 mark. Still hasn't busted it. 9.5 by 9.6 spread. Just kind of hanging out. URHN. It's the reinstatement play. They just reinstatement filed yesterday. Got a lot of action yesterday. $20,000 worth today. Getting a lot of action too. Uh, looks like people are starting to throw some bids in now. So uh, spread's tightening a little bit. 9.1 by 1.2 spread right now. Up 143.1%, 1 1.5 million shares traded so far today. All right, let's call it a show. We got, we got our couple of runners for the day. We got to trash the pile of shits. Got to call out the K-Mod cult. We got to play the double rainbow and talk over it while we're trying to play it. We're good. And we got to see BBDA bust through to blue sky mode. I would yes. say it's a good day, day indeed, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, have a good weekend, folks. Thanks for tuning in, and as always, we appreciate your support, and be sure to check us out next week. STT Live, we're out. Aloha, and have a good weekend. Thank you for listening to Stock Traders Talk Radio. All views and topics talked about on Stock Traders Talk Radio is solely for entertainment purposes. We are not professional financial advisors and always recommend you seek the advice of a professional financial advisor. Never invest in any stock featured on our show unless you can afford to lose your entire investment. The information contained on our show is based on sources which we believe to be reliable but is not guaranteed by us as being accurate and might not be a complete statement or summary of the available data. Stock Traders Talk Radio advises that the investments in companies profiled are commonly considered to be high risk and use of the information provided is at the investor's sole risk. Thank you for listening to Stock Traders Talk Radio.